Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, I'm so excited to be with you today. I, I have an update. Um, I hope you all are doing well and blessed. And thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me again today. Um, but I do, I have an update to the um, true, a true miracle video. And if you're not familiar, um, let me give you a little bit of a snippet of that video. Okay, um, so uh, just to give you a little bit, and, and I will leave a link in the comments below. Um, I invite you to check it out and see for yourself because it was very exciting. Um, but basically, I was watching the nightly news, and um, as I do right before I go to bed, and um, I noticed the screen went all black, and the closed captioning was on, and I see this four. And please excuse my finger, I'm going to be scrolling. So I, I decided to record this because it knew it was important. The screen went black, like, and then, and then these, these images are showing up on my, on my screen. It was, it was amazing. Okay, so I see the number, it says number four. Uh, please excuse my finger, I'm scrolling. Okay, and then the next thing it said, Vice President. Then it says Vice President Mike Pence United. Then it says Mike Pence United. States we're. States we're going to save. Going to save. Going to save people time. People time we're going to we're going to and then it goes to a commercial and it was like what was that like <laughs> it was this glorious message that just showed up on my screen it should have been the news right but it was this black screen that just showed up um, and you know it's like okay so there's this message about vice president oh the for number four and I still don't know exactly what the number four is um, but vice president Mike Pence um, of United States um, people going to uh, people time going to save we're going to and I thought okay I don't know what this message means but I'm paying attention to it I'm recording it so we can use this as a marker then yesterday was the 70th anniversary of Israel's um, admission into the UN as a state and who went to the UN to speak on the behalf of the United States about this 70 year anniversary was our vice president Michael Pence and I stopped and I thought, whoa, wait, whoa, okay. Um, I just, I got this message, I think it was the first week of November. So it's been a month, almost to the day. Um, about this, I, I don't know, I don't know, this miracle that I was given. So I'm listening about um, what he has to say about Jerusalem and their anniversary. Then he starts to explain that um, our president, uh, Donald Trump, is still looking at considering how to move our embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And if he doesn't do that, then there is a six-month waiver that they can do to revisit it back, um, revisit this issue again in June. But he still wants to do that, and he said that that was one of the things that he is working on doing um, for Jews, you know, for to, you know. And I thought, wow, okay. So, but how does that save the people? I'm still trying to understand the original message. So, I guess um, President Trump did sign the waiver. Um, but Mike Pence is going to keep the agenda going um, for the next six months uh, because he wants to um, make sure that this does get moved. But until then, the, the embassy will stay in Tel Aviv. 
Then I started thinking about the rest of that closed caption message on my TV and it said um, to save or uh, we're going to it said, uh, save the people time. We're going to um, save the people time, time. And I thought, so is it time to save the people? I, I didn't understand that. And then I re keep reading the rest of his message and it says, um, that Trump will not allow Iran to develop nuclear weapons. And I thought, wow. Um, first you're talking about um, Israel and their anniversary. And then you speak of um, the wonderful people there in Israel and how they have the right to exist. I'll show that clip in a sec. Um, um, and that it's um, close to heaven there. It's the hands of heaven are there. Um, I'm misquoting. I apologize. I'll show the clip. But then he, he goes into this message about um, a nuclear Iran. I thought, whoa, okay. Um, that's a different subject. So then I, it made me think about that message again about the people, Mike Pence saving the people. So maybe there's going to be some sort of controversy I mean there always is because I know um, the Ayatollah keeps saying horrible things about the people there um, no love there really none um, so maybe there's going to be some sort of I hope not but maybe there's going to be some sort of chatter about nuclear issues between Iran and Israel um, if you have any thoughts on this, please, <laughs> I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it because I just thought this was so um, interesting that first he's, you know, they're doing this celebration of the anniversary and then he talks about a nuclear Iran and they won't allow it. I mean, that's it. And then we have the issue with, I mean, North Korea, that's a whole nother one that the, but Mike Pence is also involved with that too. Um, um, many people need to be saved in that case too as well. But I, I just, so if you have any suggestions, please pray over this and ask for discernment and clarity and understanding. Um, I know there's more to this puzzle. This is a whole brand new puzzle and I would love for your um, input. I thought this was very kind of him to say, uh, but the last line he has, um, while Israel was built by human hands, it's impossible not to see the hands of heaven here too. And I just thought that that was just a beautiful statement to make. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this and I do feel that there is more to this and I'm going to keep praying on this and ask for this message to come through clearer um, but I'm worried that there might be some nuclear conversation and I pray I pray that it doesn't happen but I pray that we have warning ahead of time so the people can be saved that that would be affected by this that we can help each other through all this together because that's that's the only way we're going to make it is together i do believe that our lord and savior jesus christ is going to return to soon and i know there's so many things that have to happen before and some of those things are war. And we were told that in the Bible. Uh, the war with Michael in heaven. And uh, I think it's uh, the war that they say in um, Psalms. There's a lot of strife and struggle that's still ahead of us. Um, the two witnesses um, have not shown up. So there's, there's still other things that we haven't seen yet. But I just want to show you... The things that are shown to me that also seem timely, also, also seem biblical, things that we can't ignore. We should, we should make note of and be aware of signposts. 
so we know where we are in God's timeline. I love you so much. And God loves you even more. As it says in the Bible, when he appears, all eyes will be able to see. And what a beautiful day that will be. I hope that when we do and we rise up in the air to meet him, I hope I can look upon all your faces and know you. And we can be happy and celebrate as we're rising up to heaven to be with our Lord. Please take care and God bless. And as I asked before, please pray over this. Um, I offer um, comments to to uh, fellowship and we can discuss this. Um, it just feels important. And there's, there's a lot more to this puzzle. And maybe you have the other pieces to make the full picture. Please take care and God bless you all.